With the announcement, social media exploded, not just with praise, with some people spreading myths related to lasers, starting with the most famous of all, the mirror myth, based on the idea that a perfect mirror would reflect the laser, making the target immune. Military lasers like the Arlen Bine operate primarily in the infrared, not the visible light for which ordinary mirrors are optimized. Glass or metal mirrors reflect visible light well, about 90 to 95 percent, but in the infrared, reflectivity drops to 80 percent or less, depending on the material. And even if they manage to produce a virtually perfect mirror, and even if 90 percent of the energy is reflected, the remaining 10 percent is converted to heat. This means that a 100 kilowatts laser hitting the target will heat it enough to melt the mirrored surface in a few seconds. The mirror overheats, deforms, and loses reflectivity, with Israel, obviously, conducting tests, showing that mirrored shields last fractions of a second. Furthermore, the beam can be pulsed or modulated to exploit weaknesses or even focused on non-mirrored points, such as sensors or thrusters. Spacecraft heat shields are ablative or insulating, designed to dissipate heat from atmospheric re-entry, like those tiles on the old space shuttles. They are capable of absorbing thermal energy, but a concentrated beam heats them locally at insane rates, far beyond their design capabilities.